a very important amines of our body. That's why we call it as vitamins. And they need essentially in very small amounts. And they, are, they all will have the chemical names, will be represented by letters. So usually the main function of vitamins are, so to maintain health, to prevent deficiency, such as for heart, muscles, nerves, digestive system, for everything, mostly for repairing of the body cells and to reduce the aging process. For all those things, vitamins are very essential. So usually we have two categories of vitamins. One is fat-soluble vitamin and other one is water-soluble vitamin. First one is fat-soluble vitamin, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E and vitamin K. And next water-soluble vitamins are vitamin B complex and vitamin C. These things to be noted because from the previous need questions, they'll be asking you what are the fat-soluble and what are the water-soluble vitamins. So in, if you want to make the question, if they want to make the question tough, they'll be asking with chemical name. So which is the fat-soluble and which is the water-soluble vitamin. For example, vitamin C, we call it as ascorbic acid. So they'll give an option as an ascorbic acid inside, uh, instead of vitamin C. So the chemical names are very important. So water-soluble vitamins cannot be stored in the body. But fat-soluble vitamins can be stored in our body. So if water-soluble vitamins are in excess in our body, there is no toxic effects. But when you go with fat-soluble vitamins, if it is excess in our body, it causes hypervitaminosis. And unable to heat light, uh, so with more heating, the water-soluble vitamins will expel. But the fat-soluble vitamins will stay very cool during the normal temperatures. So first one, the fat-soluble vitamin is vitamin A. So we also call it as retinol or beta-carotene. Retinol, because it needs for the retina. From that, the name retinol has came. So uh, we only found this retinol in animals. But beta-carotene is being found in the, from the plants. So you can, like the chlorophyll pigment, it is also one of the pigments. So main functions are, it regulates the growth and the healthiness of the skin and maintaining the eye to adapt the dim light. So if the person is having any vision problem, that may be due to vitamin A deficiency also. Usually you can find the vitamin uh, A in cod liver oil, liver, dairy products, egg yolk. And beta carotene we all know. You can find it in broccoli, carrots, green leafy vegetables and deep orange fruits and vegetables. That's why uh, you will be having in ripened papaya and carrots, the vitamin A is more, which is beta carotene. And the deficiency. So the deficiency is very, very important here. So the growth will be retarded. And the person usually will have a condition called nectalopia. Nectalopia means nighttime blind. No, nighttime they can't adapt or accommodate to the vision. So that we call it as nectalopia or xeropthalmia. Xeropthalmia means dryness of the eye. Mostly these are the two important deficiencies with the vitamin A. So first one is nectalopia. Night vision will be uh, problematic. At the same time, xeropthalmia, dryness with the eye. And the next thing, vitamin D. Vitamin D we otherwise call calciferol. So this is a steroid vitamin which helps for the calcium absorption. If you have the vitamin D, then the calcium is better absorbed in our body. So usually for the absorption of calcium and phosphorus, for growth and strength of the bones and feet. And uh, the sources will be sunlight. Usually, so the fat under our skin is being converted into the vitamin D with the help of UV radiation coming from the sun. That's how sun is an important source for the vitamin D. And you can also find the vitamin D in dairy products, oily fish and margarine. So coming to the deficiency, if it is for children, it will be the rickets. 
And if it is for the adults, it will be osteomalacia. Osteomalacia means bone softening. And uh, rickets means you will be having knock knees, bow knees, all those things. And osteoporosis. So the decreased mineral density of calcium and magnesium will lead to osteoporosis condition. And as vitamin E, we call it as tocopherol. So these names are very important. So it protects the damaged tissue and it promotes the normal growth and development and it helps in RBC formation. So the other name for vitamin E is anti-sterility vitamin. Okay, just remind this. This is very, very important. Vitamin E, other name is anti-sterility vitamin. So the, you can see this uh, vitamin E in pure vegetable oil, wheat, whole bread and cereals, yak yolk, and sunflower seeds. Whatever the source for the oil, you can see that in vitamin E. And the deficiency will be, so the, usually the deficiency will be very rare. So, but, it, but mostly it could affect the nervous system. Because why the nervous system is usually the myelin sheet. The myelin sheet was being present in the nervous system. So that myelin sheet formation will be affected. So indirectly it will affect the nervous system. And next is vitamin K. The other name is vitamin K is naphthoquinone. So it is needed for blood clotting. If vitamin K is not there, K for clotting. So vitamin K is not there sufficiently in our body. Our blood will not clot at a proper time. So we will be having a continuous bleeding. So the very best sources for vitamin K are green leafy vegetables, vegetable oil and cereals. So this deficiency is also very less. But the individuals with liver damage and newborn inf infants will have a higher risk. And next, we have the water-soluble vitamin, that is vitamin B complex and vitamin C. So you have to know the B complex vitamin each and every name. Vitamin B1, we call it as thiamine. So which is very essentially seen in the carbohydrates. And you can see the vitamin th B1 thiamine on the coating of the rice. So usually if the rice is over polished, you will be having the vitamin B1 deficiency. So the sources are cereals, wheat, fortified wheat, white flour, milk, eggs, and vegetables. And the deficiency will be very berry. So the berry berry will be a disease of nervous system. Just remind nerve irritability. So usually peripheral nervous system abnormalities are all the things seen in berry berry. For thymine, berry berry. And the deficiency will be fatigue, depression, irritability. All the things are related to nervous system. Mm -hmm. And next, vitamin B2, we call it as riboflavin. So riboflavin, usually, if the person is having any uh, mouth ulcers or mouth sores, the doctor will give the tablet, riboflavin tablet. Because... Due to the vitamin B, B2 deficiency only, they'll be getting the mouth sores. So this is also for the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fats and growth and repair of the skin. And you can see this in milk, cheese, eggs, yeast, extracts and green leafy vegetables. And the deficiency will be lack of loss of appetite, swollen tongue, cracked lips and eye infection. So just remind, if we have any sores in the mouth, then immediately we can take the riboflavin tablet. So it, it can cure. But because of the riboflavin only, deficiency of riboflavin only, we are getting the mouth also. So vitamin B3, niacin. So this is also for the metabolism of carbohydrates, proteins and fat. You can see this in wheat, flour, pulses, dry fruits, yeast, meat. And the deficiency will be so this is not very, very short. This is a typing mistake. So this is pellagra. So for vitamin B3, for niacin, you have to remind that as pellagra. And next we have this folic acid. So folic acid is for RBC formation. So that is for the development of brain, spinal cord, skeleton of the fetus. So usually the pregnant women are being advised to take the folic acid regularly. So for the first three months, 
because in order to prevent the anemia. So if the folic acid was be not taken properly, the fetus may get neural tube defects. And vitamin C, ascorbic acid. So for the vitamin C, uh, usually for the vitamin C, the deficiency will be scurvy. So it is being de detected that if the vitamin C is not taken properly, you will be having a bleeding gums, which we otherwise call scurvy. You can find this vitamin C more amount in goa, citrus fruits, orange, lemon, strawberries, in broccoli, cabbage, spinach, kiwi, in all these things, you can find the vitamin C very essential. And the deficiency is curvy, we call it as. And usually, we are going to, these are vitamins and minerals, all are about the trace elements. So the other trace one is minerals. So in our body, the minerals are very essential micronutrients because we need less amount in number. So if it is uh, more, more than the normal, then we call it as major minerals. The major minerals for our body are sodium, potassium, calcium, phosphorus. So the trace minerals are iron, zinc, and iodine. So the major functions of minerals are bodybuilding, teeth and bones, control the body processes, especially the nervous system, and essential for the body fluids and cells, and very important part of enzymes and other proteins. So the iron, iron is the very important uh, trace mineral, and coming, you can see the iron in red meat, kidney, liver, eggs, bread, and green vegetables, and you can prevent anemia. So calcium, Calcium you can see in the dairy products, fortified white bread, oily fish, green vegetables, nuts, seeds, and citrus fruit. So the functions are, so teeth and bones for blood clotting, we need calcium. So nerve and muscle contraction. Calcium is needed for each and every part of the body and the deficiency will be rickets, osteomalacia, and osteoporosis. Phosphorus. This is also essential for bones and Bones, bones and teeth and also for the muscle contraction and also for ATP formation. Phosphorus is very essential and you can see this in nuts, meat, fish, dairy products. So usually the deficiency is very rare and the person will be having tiredness and depression. And the sodium. So sodium is being contained, maintains the water balance in our body and the temperature regulation. So usually our sweat will contains the sodium. So the deficiency will be mostly rare. So you can see this in cheese, bacon, smoked meat, fish, and you can see this in table salt. Potassium. So potassium is for the muscle contraction, for the sodium and potassium pump. So if the person is being the deficiency with potassium, then he may get dry skin, acne, and muscle spasms. You can see the more amount of potassium in banana, celery, and turmeric. So zinc, so zinc is very essential thing. So in the muscle, uh, sorry, it is everything from the acne to the diabetes and age for the immune system and also needed for the sense of smell and taste. So the deficiency will lead to dry skin, acne and muscle spasm. So iodine, particularly for the preparation of thyroid hormones, we need iodine. So uh, T3 and T4. So the thyroid functions to work properly, then the iodine is very essential. Without iodine, the thyroid hormones cannot be prepared. You can see the iodine in iod iodized salt in the seafood, milk, eggs, and yogurt. So next, that's it. So you have to learn these are the things. So you have to know the chemical names. You have to know the deficiency. That is very important 